हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू यूर पीडिया एजुकेशन सो दिस वीडियो इज वन इम्पॉर्टेंट अपडेट ऑन द मिनिमम एसेंशियल एजुकेशनल क्वालिफिकेशन व्हिच यू मस्ट हैव और व्हिच इज प्री रिक्विजिट और रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द लेटेस्ट रिलीज एडवर्टाइजमेंट फॉर ह्यूज नंबर ऑफ वैकेंसीज व्हिच आर अराउंड फाइव प्लस एग्जैक्टली आई गेस फाइव फिफ्टी इज अ ग्रुप ए गेजेड ऑफिसर पोजिशन फॉर बेसिकली एग्जामिनर ऑफ डिजाइन एंड पेटेंट्स so all engineering discipline mainly mainstream engineering discipline like electrical electronics uh, computer science and mechanical they all are equally eligible and they have put some minimum eligibility constraint beat on your educational qualification or beat on the age limit as you can see here it's clearly mentioned if you're coming from the biotech then master degree in the biotechnology is required and if you are coming from basically electronics and communication engineering bachelor degree in electronics technology engineering or electronics and telecommunication or equivalent equivalent means either on your degree it's simply written electronics engineering you are eligible electronics and communication you are eligible electronics and telecommunication you are eligible is it clear so electronics and instrumentation doesn't come under this keep in mind okay as per this notification next for the electrical engineering bachelor degree in electrical technology engineering or equivalent see many places it's electrical engineering many places it's electrical and electronics engineering triple e sometimes double e so if you are holding degree in triple e or double e you both are equally eligible for the vacancies which are advertised against electrical discipline similarly for computer science and information technology they had mentioned master degree in computer science information technology or master degree means sometime you know mca if you are having mca even though you are eligible or bachelor degree in engineering technology in computer science information technology or equivalent this is the requirement for csc and it and next one is for basically you know it's for mechanical engineering for mechanical engineering minimum eligibility criteria they have put the constraint that is bachelor degree in mechanical engineering and technology or its equivalent so guys if you are going for all those vacancy which are being advertised against the engineering discipline be it electrical be it mechanical be it computer science be it electronics and uh, communication your bachelor is at least minimum requirement many times student asks sir we are having bsc in the electronics so that is not eligible at least you must hold the master degree is it clear in that case so if you are coming from the engineering background then minimum eligibility criteria is bachelor only now coming ahead or going ahead for metallurgical engineering again bachelor is required for textile engineering again the bachelor is required now there is one constraint that is very important that is age limit and age relaxation candidate must have attained the age of 21 year and must not have attained the age of 35 year as on the last date of submission of the online application so you need to calculate your age as per the last date of submission of the online application reason being see we know in the india job market is quite competitive so there might be many student unfortunately who are trying for the government sector gadgeted officer position but somewhere they are missing by one and two marks on they are sitting on the verge of 34 and 35 year so final date or maximum date as per the eligibility they should calculate it's clearly mentioned on the last date of submission of the online application which is mentioned earlier so guys these two are the minimum eligibility criteria one is your educational qualification and second is your age limit apart from that there is no criteria no experience required any person can apply without experience it's a fresher position most of the time we see that there is a age limit of 35 year might be they are asking some experience no nothing is required the selection will be purely on the basis of preliminary mains and then interview so your pd education wish you people all the best for this position and you know we already have launched one module for this which include preparation for both descriptive which is the mains exam as well as the preliminary exam so if you want to prepare or which i believe each one individual among you should prepare who is aspiring to become the gadget officer and want to contribute for the government of india so they should not miss this opportunity don't miss the opportunity fill your application form well in the deadline and start preparing with your pd education we wish you all the best thanks a lot